Coach Shaka Smart, Coach, if you want to open with a brief statement, and then we'll open for questions. I thought, you know, these games are always dangerous because it's just human nature to be thinking about getting a chance to get away for a little while and go home and see your family. Uh, I'm talking about on the part of the players. Uh, but I thought our guys locked in uh, pretty well for most of the game and followed the plan. Longwood made some shots. I, I give them a lot of credit. They made some tough shots. But I thought our guys <clears throat> executed pretty well, and it's what allowed us to win. Oh, we had two very spirited practices the last couple of days after Western Kentucky. We really got after each other. We, we played a lot in practice, competed, split the teams up relatively evenly. Uh, one day I let the guys pick the teams, and, uh, and the guys competed with each other quite a bit. So. How encouraging is that to have a blowout and have this one in X and then a break, but they're still competing with that practice? Yeah, I think the emphasis just has to continue to be on getting better making progress, uh, you know, whether you win by a blowout or whether you win by one or, or you lose. It's got to be on making progress. We're 9-3 and three right now, which, uh, you know, we'd rather be 12-0, and 0, but certainly, uh, you know, we've taken care of business, I, I guess, from the last, for the last six games from, from the standpoint of winning. Uh, and I think we have made progress. Our guys did a great job finishing up the semester academically, and uh, we've gotten better. So that's, that's what it's about. Yeah, we wanted to go inside of him. We ran a couple of plays early to get him the ball. He did a nice job finishing. So he's a good option for us on offense. Very good option for us. One of the best we have. So we want to get him the ball. Sometimes we get so three-point crazy that uh, he doesn't get it as much as, as he should. But I like that... Uh, you know, tonight he, he got a lot of attempts. Is that good to have that balance like you had tonight where he's scoring inside? Oh, it's great. Yeah, you want to have an inside out balance, and all the best teams do. Uh, you know, the Final Four team had that with Skeen, and it was, it was what made us so tough to guard because if you focus a lot of attention on the three point shooters, and Skeen got single coverage inside, and then when, when you double teamed him, then that allowed Brandon and Joey and some of those guys to get free from outside. Uh, it's a pretty simple formula. You know, Javante is not Jamie, but I, I do think that he uh, has a potential to develop into a, a legitimate low post threat night in and night out. Did you think you were as sharp tonight defensively? You've been at some level. I thought at times in the first half you were a little slow. At times, I thought Longwood made some tough shots. I give them some credit. Uh, and then I thought at times we were very good defensively. I thought from about the 16-minute media of the second half for about the next eight, ten minutes, I thought we really defended well. And, again, Darius spearheaded that just like he did the other day against Western Kentucky. Uh, you know, I, I, th I think the, the five guys that are on the floor, they have to combine to bring the energy and the enthusiasm and the talk necessary to be – uh, great on the defensive end, and, and Darius is a great start to that. Uh, so it's no coincidence that we won in that defensive run when he was in the game. As zeroed in as you guys are right now, is there any concern going home, then coming back, maybe losing no Matt's bill? No, no. I think uh, I'm excited that our guys get to go home. They're, they're probably sick of me, need a break from me. Uh, this is a, a longer break than, you know, normally it's two or three days. Uh, they get four. And, uh, and I think it's great. You know, our guys have worked very hard going all the way back to the summer in preparation for the trip to August. Uh, you know, we've been on them about making progress as a team, making progress individually. We're never satisfied. You know, we're, we're always, you know, all over them. And, uh, and so they need a little time to get away. And, and I think they'll come back ready to go. 
seems like the uh, past two games, the other teams have made runs in the first two minutes of the second half. I think Kentucky was like a 9-3 run, getting nine points tonight. Do you have any thoughts as to like, what's happened? Yeah, uh, tonight it was just kind of trading baskets mode. We were scoring too, so I don't think they made a run, but they scored and we scored. So, uh, you know, sometimes when you're up, it, you can get into that trading baskets mode, but that's not acceptable. That's not what we do. So. Uh, you know, I, I think this is good that our guys are learning. They're figuring out what we have to do to come out of halftime and be effective. And it's more challenging when you're when you're up because there's just a natural tendency to relax. But I, I think against Western Kentucky and then again tonight, even after an initial surge that the other team had, we were able to buckle down and, and really play good defense for most of the half. So that's progress. You faced a local uh, product, uh, Tristan Kerr. Um, you mentioned some tough shots tonight. Uh, what did yeah. you see about him and what did you know about him coming He's out? a good player. I mean, Mike Rhodes did a scouting report, and he mentioned that the last time that uh, Tristan was in the Siegel Center was when he was in high school, and he lit it up. So uh, he was somebody that we were definitely focusing on. But he made some tough shots early. I thought we had a hand up a couple times, and he made it anyway. I think he's going to be a really good player for them this year in their league. And then Robinson, uh, you know, made some tough plays as well, and he's a competitor. And I think between the two of those guys, they, they, they had a good – both had good offensive games. Can you uh, talk about that little exchange you had with Mike after the, after the play from Robinson? Yeah, I just uh, – you know, sometimes you got to stand up for your guys, and I just felt like there was a few uh, plays that, sh that shouldn't have been made the way they were made, but – uh, you know, I, I apologize to him after the game. I, I, I didn't mean to get so upset. It's just, you know, someone's got to stand up for our guys. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that the referee stepped in there after after that specific play and, and, and called a, a flagrant. But, you know, our guys work hard. They play the right way. And, you know, we always talk about not responding to cheap shots. Um, but, you know, it's, it's one thing. Uh, to not respond once, you know, and, and, and that's why I thought I had to voice my opinion a little bit. Talk about what Darius been able to be off the bench the last game. He's been phenomenal. He's been so locked in, uh, just all about the team. He doesn't care about statistics. You know, diving on the floor, his deflections, his steals. Been great. He's been the best player on our team. <laughs> You're struggling for uh, for product, huh? <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, you know, I, I want all of our fans to have, uh, you know, a healthy, happy holiday season. And, uh, you know, I'm, I think this is a time where, you know, it, it's important to reflect and have a level of appreciation for all the great things in your life. And, you know, I, I'm appreciative of our fans. You know, I've been to a, I've been at a lot of different schools where, you know, the game right before Christmas and with most of the students gone, is a half empty crowd and a quiet arena. Wasn't the case tonight, and it's it's just another reminder of a special following that we have at VCU. Uh, for me personally, I just look forward to spending time with my family, with my wife, my daughter, and gonna get some recruiting in which is always important. Uh, and I don't really want anything in terms of gifts. Uh, if, if all of our guys could come back with the right mindset and excited <laughs> about uh, attacking, then <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't think of, you know, it's. Troy, Troy said the same thing about being with family. Trey, you want an iPad mini. Darius wanted yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope those guys get that stuff. You know. <laughs> uh, just, I'm just excited about being around my family, and my daughter will get more, uh, plenty of presents, enough presents for both of us. Anything else for Coach Smart? Thanks. <laughs>